Big Billboard just went up overnight with disgusting warning to Trump after Manafort conviction. An activist from New York City has taken out a billboard in New Jersey right after Manafort's conviction was released and what's on the billboard might not be so friendly. His name is Neil Harrison and he spent almost $1,000 of his own money to rent a billboard that is 100% anti-Trump and calls the president our leader, the idiot. The New Yorker had to waste his money in New Jersey because his own town doesn't allow political billboards, which seems to be a much better decision than to allow them. Then again, if someone wants to waste $1,000 by renting a billboard with some generic message because they hate great leadership so much, then that's their fault. This billboard also reminds us about how liberals and Democrats go right to name-calling, but don't have any facts to base it on. Sounds familiar, am I right? That's a great way to waste money. It's an anti-Trump billboard, but more importantly, it's a giant sign that lets people know that the person who paid for it is very good at wasting money, whining, and possibly dislikes his country. Perhaps renting this billboard was a very bad idea because now the renter looks rather silly in the eyes of the beholder. He wasted his money and outed himself as a whiny anti-Trumper, not the best look for a man in 2018. The Hill reported. An anti-Trump billboard was put up in New Jersey one day after President Trump's former longtime lawyer Michael Cohen's pleaded guilty to eight counts of fraud and campaign finance violations and implicated the president in a felony. Neil Harrison, an activist from New York City, told News 12 New Jersey on Wednesday that he paid nearly $1,000 out of pocket to erect the billboard that refers to Trump as our leader, the idiot. Harrison said the billboard also loosely promotes a documentary he is producing though he said the sign's main intent is to protest the president. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort was convicted. Cohen's giving up everything he can, and we're hoping that Trump is next, Harrison told the local outlet. Basically that's what we are out here for. I'm an activist and that's what I do. And we're trying to drum up some real support here. The move comes a day after Cohen entered a guilty plea in which he said he broke campaign finance laws in coordination and at the direction of a candidate for federal office, indirectly referencing Trump without explicitly stating his name. The developments surrounding Trump's former lawyer and fixer, who once said he would take a bullet for the president, came minutes before Manafort was found guilty on eight charges of bank and tax fraud by a jury in Virginia. There is much better money to spend on a billboard. One example of a great billboard is that which someone rented on the other side of the country. This was a billboard reminding us of what kind of person Maxine Waters is. As I stated in a previous article, a massive billboard appeared in California that absolutely roasted Maxine Waters and likely has her fuming from the four words it says so big people can read it from the highway in their cars. The well-known Democrat popular among her party, yet often ostracized for mumbling and not making sense while working at an age indicating that she should have retired many many years ago. Nevertheless, she persists and she continues clamoring on with her hashtag resist antics and trying to bully President Trump into resignation. Her antics aren't working, but there's finally people speaking out about her in a big way. This time someone paid to have a billboard blasting Maxine Waters and how many in the public truly view her. The billboard said rotten to the core and it labels her as one of the most corrupt politicians to grace the country. In fact, Many people don't know much about Maxine Waters except for every time she stumbles on her own words or babbles about something incoherently. Many people aren't sure how she was brought into politics or what she does to earn a salary. It was Omar Navarro who posted a photograph of the billboard which is shown below. The billboard was reported to be paid for by the Stars and Stripes Forever Pack which appears to be in support of conservative values, the same common sense and logical values that many people like Maxine Waters fight against. The big difference between the anti-Trump and anti-Maxine billboards is this, the Trump billboard simply calls him an idiot, but is baseless and obviously it takes a smart person to make it all the way to the biggest seat in the White House. Trump is obviously intelligent, has seen major success, and a few failures, but that's typical when you run so many businesses, and he clearly knows what he's doing most of the time. All things considered. A guy with no political experience is sure doing a lot better than anyone expected and he's setting records along the way, those are facts no one can dispute. Maxine's billboard states that she's rotten and gives a quick reason why. Maxine Waters s not nearly as successful in her district is very dirty, she only has maybe three bills that were passed in what, 30 years, this is a guesstimate, not a fact, and she calls for action against people simply because they support the President of the United States of America. Here's a very disturbing video of Maxine Waters' district covered in trash and outside looking very uncivilized. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.